The first and maybe the easiest way to go backwards is flashback. So we go back to a guaranteed restore point. This is the preferred solution, but it only is your insurance for issues happening during the upgrade because you will lose all data changes. You can't do this six days after the upgrade without losing data. So let me show you how that works in auto-upgrade because this is also the default in auto-upgrade. If your database is in archive log mode, then auto-upgrade by default creates a guaranteed restore point and allows you to go backwards. The parameter here marked in red, restoration yes, is default, unless you set it to no. And also the second parameter, drop the GRP after upgrade, is no by default because auto-upgrade keeps that parameter you have to drop it manually. Unless you intentionally change this parameter to yes. And then no worries, no fear, auto upgrade will only remove the restore point once your upgrade was successful. When we go backwards with auto upgrade, because auto upgrade allows you to do that, then auto upgrade will also take care on the entries in ETC or at top if there were any, on the cluster registration, cluster registration, on moving the files backwards, which includes the P file, the SP file, the password file, and much more. So let us have a quick demo here and see how that works. So first of all, in this case, I have a 12201 database, and I would like to show you the auto upgrade config file at this point. So here we see it's a 12201 home, 19C home, the SID is DB12. And just for clarification, I said drop GRP after upgrade, no, but it's the default anyways, just to make clear that we don't drop it. Now I kick off auto upgrade in deploy mode. So it does the pre-checks, the fix ups, and then upgrades the database. And we speed that up because this is not a seminar about upgrading, it's a seminar about fallback or rollback strategies. So the upgrade has been completed successfully and you see the restore point is kept by default. Let me quickly connect to the database and see. It's a 1910 database in this demo here. Or Beetle instance tells you 1900, but it's 1910. Now with the same config file, I can restore now. Restore means I flashback, or not I, how to upgrade flashbacks. So we speed that up here quickly as well. And auto upgrade goes back to guaranteed restore point and puts everything back in shape again. So database is now restored with that simple command. Let me connect to that database. And you see here, select version from video instance. It's 12201. Our upgrade went backwards to the guaranteed restore point. That's how simple as it is.